Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. You guys, before we start, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, okay? Make sure the notifications are turned on and that you do give this video a big thumbs up if you found some value in the content as it does help my channel to grow. Today's video is just going to be a fun one, okay? We are talking about fragrances that I think are overhyped. Now keep in mind, this is just my opinion and we have to understand that fragrances are highly subjective, okay? What one person thinks is like literally God's tears in a, in a, in a bottle is just like, what the heck to someone else? Like we pick up on different notes, um, we don't, you know, smell the same things. Our noses are different. How we perceive things are different. And just like food, like people like different things. So this is all in fun. Don't get, you know, offended. I understand there are going to be some clutch pearl type moments, but that is why we're here today, just to have some fun, all right? So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so the first one on this list, listen, do not click unsubscribe when I say this, okay? Just, just go count to 10, come back, and then we continue. Hypnotic poison. <laughs> oh, don't throw tomatoes, don't throw tomatoes. Okay, seriously. Hypnotic poison, I have tried. I have tried to see the light, and I just, the light is not, it's not, I can't see it, okay? Listen, every time I am in Ulta, I pick a patch of skin to test that fragrance on and every time I walk away, underwhelmed. Like, I'm always like, I don't get it. Like, literally, that is the fragrance for being a fragrance reviewer one-on-one. -on -one. They have hypnotic poison in their collection and I don't and I never will. Like, I just don't understand the hype. Now for me, I prefer Girl of Now. It's just a little bit more interesting. I love that um, it, it remains interesting throughout the fragrance. I feel like Hypnotic Poison, it starts off sweet, almondy, okay, you know, nothing to write home about. And then it just kind of dies down to just a little dry almond on the skin. I don't know, like it's, it's very underwhelming to me. And I don't know if it's just more of a like nostalgia thing, but I feel like it is still to this day just a very popular hyped up fragrance. And I just think it's overhyped. Okay, so moving on. Tom Ford fans, don't come for me in the comments. Okay, you can come for me. Honestly, like if you have an opinion about these, I actually want to hear. Like tell me, if you agree with me and you think they're overhyped and also tell me that you just disagree and like it is your love, like, cause I know there's plenty of these that I'm gonna read off that you absolutely love. But anyway, Soleil Blanc, Tom Ford, I don't get it. Like I don't understand the hype. And when I smell this, I'm just like, this seems a little like loud and overbearing to be a, like a, on the beach set? Like, I don't know. This is one, I haven't tested this fragrance in a long time. So it's actually one I plan to revisit. As you get on your fragrance journey, like things you just did not understand and you did not like in the beginning of your journey, maybe in your top 10 for life, you know, six months from now. So it's definitely one I want to revisit, but as of today, as of right now, I much rather have Terracotta by Guerlain. Terracotta, I love. It is perfect. That is what I want to wear on the beach on vacation, okay? That is my white floral coconut, uh, warm, floral, beautiful scent. That is what I go to. I am not a Soleil Blanc fan. Okay, next on the list is Black Opium. I just feel like, why? You know what? It's, a, it's two E Saint Laurent's on here and I don't have any in my collection. That may be a sign. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm just not a YSL girl, but anyway, 
Black opium is very sweet. Like I can kind of see how somebody could like that fragrance. I'm not saying it's, a, I don't think any of these are just horrible. Um, but I feel like that fragrance is not well blended. It's not refined and it's just trying too hard. Like it's trying too hard. I, yeah, I don't get it. Like I don't get why it's so overhyped. I really don't. Now, Intense Cafe is what I prefer. If I want a coffee scent, it, Intense Cafe restrains it because it has the, the more pronounced coffee scent. That is what I prefer. Next on the list is Lieb. This fragrance is so loved. It is so popular. It is like, you would... You would think this is like the second coming of Jesus. Like people love Libra and I just do not like that scent. It is very scratchy and dry and boring to me. That is like, I couldn't wait to smell it. It was so hyped up. And I just like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and I've definitely tried to revisit that many a times. I actually still have this. This bottle collecting dust. You know what? Let me just try it. Let me just go ahead, honey. Give give it another try because there's no dent in this bottle at all. Mm -mm. It's a no. This is the intense. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a giveaway. I didn't even plan on doing it, but this somebody will love and appreciate. Cause I, because I never will. So listen, if you are watching, if you want this bottle of leave, it is yours. This is practically new. I still have the original box. Drop me a comment below. Just whatever speaks to me, you know, whatever speaks to my heart, that's who's going to win. Okay. I will announce it on my, on my community page. Um, going to give it a week. Okay. I will announce the winner. We're going to give this away because somebody's going to love this scent. Everyone loves this scent. I feel like, but me. So, hey, that's what we're going to do a giveaway. All right. Drop me a comment below. Now let's get on to the next one. Black Orchid by Tom Ford. I said what I said. What the heck? First of all, just look at the notes. I'm going to try to put it up on the screen. This fragrance is so all over the place, but let me tell you now, I got to give respect when it's due that like some people think that is a masterpiece scent and I just wore again, like on my skin the other day, just, this is what I do. And I go, I, I found like six, 10 patches of skin and I test stuff when I'm in Sephora or Ulta just to see if I can change my mind about some of these scents. And that is one I will just never be on that bandwagon. The patchouli, something about the way Tom Ford does patchouli, I hate it every time. It's just like, if there is a prominent patchouli note in any of his fragrances, I am not gonna be able to do it. But aside from that, aside from the patchouli, the rest of it, I just don't, it's too, it's too much going on. It's sweet. And then it's got this black truffle. I don't want to smell like mushrooms. I don't want to smell it. Okay. I don't want to smell like it. And I don't even want to smell. I don't even like the smell of a mushroom. Anyway, the complexity is just, it's complex, but it's not complex in a good way to me. So I much prefer the flanker velvet orchid. I think that is beautiful. That scent still has the black orchid DNA. No patchouli. Thank you, Tom Ford, for that. And I feel like, you know, the black orchid is still there. It still has a little bit of the sweetness, but it is just so smooth and so well blended. And it's so much more wearable. I feel like that is a gorgeous scent. And I feel like it gets like no attention and no hype. So yeah, black orchid. Thumbs down for me. Okay, you guys. So the next one on this list is by the fireplace. Replica Maison Margiela. Listen, I don't think that's a bad scent. I don't like, I, well, Black Orchid. I think, yeah, I don't. Mm. Anyway, most of these are not bad scents. I feel like by the fireplace is just so overhyped. It's sweet, but I feel like it gets literal like it literally smells like a crackling fire pit 
with marshmallows. And I feel like it's just, it, it's not anything I want to smell like. It smells pleasant. It smells good. But for it to translate to a fragrance, I think it's just, it's something that's missing or it's something overdone. I much prefer Jazz Club. That is a nice fragrance. Um, and overall, I think he does a very good job with this line and really recreating what they're supposed to create for that fragrance. Um, you, It really does like take you to where he's trying to get you to. I think that's brilliant. I really do. I think overall the line is, it's quite nice, but I just feel like, whoa, like by the fireplace, it's like loved. It is hyped. And I just don't think it's worth the hype. Okay, listen, don't clutch the, you can clutch your pearls, but just, just don't get offended. Don't get offended, Donna born in Roma. That is like, it's so popular right now. It is so loved, so popular, so hyped. When I first smelled this on paper, my initial thought was, oh my gosh, this is nice. You know, I actually liked it to the point where I went back to test it on my skin. Cause at first I just tested it on paper. Like, oh, I can see why this is, you know, this is popular. I tested it on skin. It, it was very sweet and a little overwhelming. When I first tested it on my skin, I went back to it again. Got a decant of it. The black current, it gets very scratchy um, on the dry down. It's just something, it just, I don't know if it's just my chem, my body chemistry and it's just not jiving well. Maybe that's the issue. But I just feel like this is a very, um, it's black current, it's sweet. And that's it. It's like, it's nothing to write home about. I actually prefer the Rose Gold. Tiffany and Company. I really prefer that one over the Donna Born and Roma. I just feel like the rose gold is just a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more refined and, and it has a similar vibe. I just prefer that version of a black currant, you know, um, sweet, fruity, floral over the Donna Born and Roma version. So sue me. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next one, don't come for me. Do not come for me. Italica by Lyra. Listen, listen, I tried, I have tried. I feel like people are either team Lyra or they are team Italica. I don't know why. People have said that Italica is the, like the best gourmand period. And I just wholeheartedly disagree. It's not like, it's so, literal like this is literally an almond bomb sugar like it's it's like you're taking a sugar cookie and you're rubbing like that's what it is it's very literal like to me I don't feel like they translated the gourmandiness of it into it to make it a, like fragrance wise it's just too something off the the almond is very sharp um it's very sweet, but it just doesn't smell like a fragrance to me. It just doesn't. I don't know why. The way it dries down on my skin, thats I can only speak from my experience. Now, I must prefer Lyra because it just, it's very gourmand. It's very sugary, citrusy, dessert, cheesecake-like. It's all of the gourmand things, but it is... It feels more like a fragrance to me. Like, yeah, I much prefer Lyra. Even though these are not to be compared, I'm just, I'm just team Lyra. You know, the scents are nothing alike. I'm just team Lyra and I have, tr I tried Italica. I just knew I was going to love that fragrance. I was about to blind buy it. Thank God I didn't because I just don't enjoy that scent um, as a fragrance. I'm not saying it smells bad. It doesn't. I just don't think it translates well into a fragrance. That's just my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Okay, the last one on this list is the very polarizing Alien by Terry Mugler. Listen, that jasmine is so sharp. It is so idyllic. It is so like whoo, it is strong. And I don't know why. I would want to be covered in that much jasmine. 
I'll pass. I will pass and I will take the beautiful Jasmine Rouge over Alien. Um, I just don't understand the impact of Alien because it impacts. Like either you love it and when you love that fragrance, you it's die hard. Like you go hard for that Alien if you are an Alien lover. But if you don't like it, you hate it. Like you do not like it when you don't like it. It's very polarizing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. And I'm gonna definitely, my, like my dark Jasmine is Jasmine Rouge. I love that fragrance from Tom Ford. All right. So I'm interested to know your thoughts on my thoughts. Like, what do you think about this list? Let me know your opinion of the most overhyped fragrance. I'm dying to hear it because I mean, some people think that Delina and Baccarat Rouge are overhyped and they just don't get it. And they don't think it's and I'm like, that's sacrilegious, excuse me? But it's subjective. Like everybody is not gonna like the same things. And if we all like, the, what would be the point of these fragrance channels, okay? If we all just like the same stuff, that's actually quite boring. It, you know what, it's actually fun to sit down and watch fragrance channels from people. You just have an opposite fragrance taste from, I love having my twin nose, you know, those channels, but, um. Like Sheree, I, I love her content and she has a completely different like style of fragrance that she gravitates to. She's very bold, very dark, deep, sexy. I have very few of those in my collection, but I watch her content daily. And I just think it's it's just fun. It's all in fun. I love the variety that fragrance, you know, brings into our life and our world. And so don't Anyone take offense to my list and I'm dying to hear your list. What are the overhyped fragrances in the fragrance community according to you? Drop in the comments below. Don't forget about this giveaway because I'm giving this to somebody. I'm tired of it. This beautiful bottle, by the way, collecting dust. Um, listen, again, be sure you're subscribed. Give the video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one.